Hi, welcome to Marker Board Videos. My name is Nancy Foote. Today's video, which is the next in our Math in Minutes Algebra 1 series, is about how to solve advanced linear equations. And I'll explain to you what we mean by advanced in just a minute. Let's do an example. 10w minus 3w minus 1 equals 13. When they say advanced linear equations, that means you usually have to do more than the usual. In this case, we have to combine like terms. We're going to combine our 10w with our negative 3w. Remembering, of course, that the sign stays with the number, so the negative stays with the 3. A lot of people are confused about when is it subtraction and when is it negative. It's exactly the same thing. So this is negative 3 or 10w minus 3w. In any case, when we combine these two, we get 7w, and let's bring the rest of the equation down. Now it becomes a very simple equation to solve. The opposite of subtraction is addition, so we're going to add 1 to both sides, and we get 7w equals 14. The 7 and the w are multiplied. Opposite of multiplication is division, so we divide both sides by 7 and we end up with w equals 2. So what makes this an advanced equation? The fact that you had to do this little piece in the beginning. Sometimes advanced linear equations, you have to do that extra piece later or earlier. Depends. So here's another problem. q plus 1 divided by 3 equals 1. Now we want to get the q by itself, and we're used to moving this away, but before we do that, since the whole thing is divided by 3, we have to multiply both sides by 3. That's what makes this one an advanced equation, because now you end up with q plus 1 equals 3, and that's an easy problem to solve. Subtract 1 from both sides, q equals 2. So again, if the whole thing is divided by something, get rid of that denominator first. If only the q was divided by 3, then that would be one of the last things that you do. I think that some of these rules sometimes are set up to confuse us, but you'll get used to it the more you do. Let's do another example. Negative 16y minus negative 2y plus 5y minus 15 equals 3. Oh my goodness, that seems like a difficult problem. It really isn't. It's really pretty straightforward. All you want to do is make sure you combine those. And I see that I'm subtracting a negative. And as you know from my previous video, subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. So let's see what we have here. Negative 16 plus 2 is negative 14. And negative 14 plus 5 is negative 9. So that whole ugly mess becomes negative 15y, sorry, negative 9y minus 15 equals 3. And now it's a very simple problem to solve. You've done this many times before. I'm simply going to add 15 to both sides. I get negative 9y equals 18. Divide both sides by negative 9, and I get y equals negative 2. The trick to this problem was doing this in the beginning. Once you get that done, you're easy. It's easy. Last problem, negative 2 times c plus 17 minus 13 equals negative 9. Let's start by moving the 13 to the other side and getting rid of that. And we are left with negative 2 c plus 17 equals 4. Now, because this whole thing is being multiplied by negative 2, we're going to divide the whole thing by negative 2 first. So you end up with c plus 17 equals negative 2. Now it's a much easier problem to solve. Simply subtract 17 from both sides of the equation, and you get c equals negative 19. c equals negative 19. Again, it's considered an advanced equation because there's multiple steps you have to do along the way. If you have any questions about solving advanced linear equations or anything else in Algebra 1, please leave me a message. Thanks. Have a great day.